James doesn't want me to show his face, but he's not embarrassed to admit he caused his own suffering. When you look at the menu, you wouldn't really guess it was African. OK, tell me, what is African about mozzarella? There were lots of rumblings, anticipation that things would go wrong, that would be some kind of violence. Where does that pessimism come from? Well, good question, Femi, because Sierra Leone really was the poster child of Afro-pessimists of the 1990s. An hour and a half later, I finally arrive at the Game Pass shelter, where painted on the rocks are some of the most famous images in Africa. It's about 6.50 and it's dusk here as we walk along the road towards Guru. So, Mummy, this is your house? Yes, my house. Will you show me around? Yes. Paulina lives in this shack with her husband, three boys and her baby daughter. Three boys are sleeping here. The three boys three are boys. here. Three boys. Do they fight? <laughs> but it's not until I walk down to the outside toilet that I see the reality of not having running water. Ah, I can smell the toilet from here. <laughs> okay, so this is the toilet. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> After I take in the stench and the flies, no, I meet Paulina's landlord. This is beginner's guide to how to catch a taxi in Johannesburg. Yes. I put my finger up. What does yes. that mean? It shows that we are going to town. Going to town? Yes. I put my finger down. You are going to Paraguay. With Edna by my side, I try catching my first taxi. Uh, Can we get in this taxi? This is one to Paraguay. The taxi driver's not even looking at me. Is this? <laughs> Does this work? Down? Oh, down? Should we go down? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Hey guys, I'm just learning how to catch a taxi. So we're going downtown? No? The, the meeting yesterday was described in the pro-government newspaper, The Herald in Zimbabwe, as reading those Western ambassadors the right act. The accusation has long been in Zimbabwe that the British government, the United States government, Western governments, in fact, are helping the Movement for Democratic Change, the main opposition party in Zimbabwe, funding their activities, helping them to overthrow Robert Mugabe's presidency. I want to add to, to the story, to the news we're getting from Zimbabwe, from, from colleagues, from journalists in Zimbabwe. They are describing the situation there right now as an unofficial state of emergency, that supporters of the movement for democratic change, not even high-level supporters, are being followed at night, they're being followed by unmarked police cars, that the clinics are taking in more injuries with people being beaten and broken limbs, and that there are unofficial hit squads who support Robert Mugabe going around and cracking down on supporters of movement for democratic change. And as I met up with other biology students in what I thought was an old classroom, another surprise. We do not have actually up-to-date materials to use. Even the, the little microscopes that we have, you know, they are not even up to the tax. So this is a laboratory? No. No. I'm in a laboratory yeah, right yes, now. Yes. Seriously. No, we have but today the hustle is all happening at the executive mansion. The president's first meeting is confidential, so we take the camera outside. What's the nine nine one zero zero? A double five. If I ask me on the, is everything five five? No, no, no. That that is part of our own operation. Secret code. Yes. Oh, so thank too you. secret to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Emmanuel Johnson, no relation to the present, is part of the special security service. How many hours sleep roughly would you get in a night? Why? I don't sleep because I don't want to sleep. My job is to protect the president at all costs while I sleep. You don't sleep? No. Ever? Yeah. You're, t you're telling me the truth? Seriously true. How do you manage? How do you, how do you function? Because I have the energy and endurance. That's my job. I was trained to die. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Femi. Five, five, five. What does that mean? <laughs> no. tell, tell me later. No, it's okay. I'll keep the secret. I'll get you. You can trust me. Bye. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Whereabouts did these ones come from? Where? Mm -hmm. Up, Up this river? river? Yes. The UN sanctions haven't stopped small scale miners from trying to make some money on the black market. It's a low tech enterprise. Pick your location, dig a pit until you hit the gravel, wash the gravel, and then keep your fingers crossed. What are the names of this? Sample. Sample. 
Yes. So if you see any of these, yes, then there. maybe there's diamond in yeah, there. Yeah, diamond arrow. Especially this and this. And move Let them. me see your hand. Look at my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even ready yet. Okay. Un, dos, tres. Welcome from our New York bureau. Hi there, Kermit. Oh, 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 hi there, Femi. Listen, uh, can I clear something up with you? Please do. Uh, can I, is it okay to call you Femi or is it okay to call you okay? Because if it's okay to call you okay, maybe that's better. Straight top. Straight top. Okay, shoulders down. Shoulders down. Chest up. Chest up. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Not easy to interpret. It's back. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know, Femi. Move along. <laughs>